Hi, my name is Alberta. I'm 52 years old. I live in Michigan. I work for the public school system as a teacher's assistant. I've been on remodulin pump therapy for two and a half years. The route of administration I use for my pump is, I have a central line inserted in my chest and it goes down to my pump. If I was talking to somebody that was um, about to start on the pump, I would tell them not to be nervous. Um, I would say, look at me, do I look sick? Um, I enjoy life. I still work. Um, I still do everything that I want to do. But when I was in the um, hospital, a nurse from the specialty pharmacy, she had to come out and show me um, how to administer my medicine. I had to learn how to do it and show them that I knew how to do it step by step. I was nervous at first, but once I got the hang of it, it just came natural. When I go out in public with my pump, when I'm at work, I, I hide it up under my clothes so the students won't see. Um, when I go to church, when I go shopping, um, it's always showing, the tubing is showing, um, and I just let it show. I'm not, I'm not scared to let it show. Um, I just don't like for the students to see it. But other than that, when I'm out in public, it's normal. It's my everyday life. This is who I am. When I was first diagnosed and when I came home from the hospital, I took a lot of my pajamas and I cut them. I cut them right down right here so that my central line wouldn't get caught onto my pajamas. I used to be so terrified. Every night when I would sleep, I would wake up in the middle of the night going like this, seeing if my central line was still in my chest. I would turn around and touch and see if my pump was still in my bed. Um, but as the months went on and I got more comfortable, I don't even worry about it no more. It's, it's just right there next to me and I just be like, let me check on my baby. My baby's still there and I'm good. My message to the PAH community would be that I would like to thank them for everything that they have done for me, all the knowledge, the information that I've learned. I learned from them and they have been an inspiration in my life and I couldn't have made it this far without them. So I just want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Remodulin Tropostanil Injection Indication or what is Remodulin? Remodulin is a prescription medication used to treat adults with pulmonary arterial hypertension, PAH, WHO group 1, which is high blood pressure in the arteries of your lungs. Remodulin can reduce symptoms associated with exercise. Remodulin was studied mainly in patients with NYHA functional class 2 through 4 symptoms. It is not known if remodulin is safe and effective in children. In people with PAH who need to switch from epoprostenol, remodulin is approved to slow the worsening of symptoms. Important safety information for remodulin. Before you take remodulin, tell your healthcare provider if you have other medical conditions or take other medicines that may affect your use of remodulin by increasing the risk of side effects or decreasing the drug's effectiveness, have liver or kidney problems. Your remodulin dose may need to be adjusted if you have liver problems, have low blood pressure or bleeding problems, are taking gemfibrozil for high cholesterol, rifampin for infection, or other drugs that affect liver enzymes, your doctor may need to adjust your remodulin dosage. Are pregnant, breastfeeding, or planning to become pregnant? It is not known if remodulin will harm your unborn baby or if remodulin passes into your breast milk. What are the serious side effects of remodulin? Continuous intravenous IV infusions of remodulin delivered using an external infusion pump with a tube placed in a central vein within the chest are associated with the risk of bloodstream infections and sepsis, which may be fatal. Therefore, continuous subcutaneous SC infusion delivered just beneath the skin is the preferred type of delivery. Worsening of PAH symptoms. Do not stop taking or greatly reduce your remodulin dose without consulting your doctor. Low blood pressure. Symptomatic hypotension. If you have low blood pressure or are taking drugs that lower your blood pressure, the risk of low blood pressure is increased. Bleeding problems. Remodulin may increase the risk of bleeding in people who take blood thinners, anticoagulants. What are the possible side effects of remodulin? 
In clinical studies of SC infusion of remodulin, most people experienced infusion site pain and infusion site reaction, redness, swelling, and rash. These symptoms were sometimes severe and sometimes required treatment with narcotics or discontinuation of remodulin. IV infusion of remodulin delivered through an external pump has been associated with the risk of bloodstream infections, arm swelling, tingling sensations, bruising, and pain. The most common side effects seen with either SC or IV remodulin were headache, diarrhea, nausea, rash, jaw pain, widening of the blood vessels, vasodilatation, and swelling from fluid retention, edema. These are not all the possible side effects of remodulin. Call your doctor for medical advice about side effects. You may report side effects to the FDA at www.fda.gov medwatch or call 1-800-FDA-1088. The risk information provided here is not comprehensive. To learn more about remodulin, talk with your healthcare provider. Please see full prescribing information at www.remodulin.com or call customer service at 1-877-UNITHERE, 1-877-864-8437.